Hello, my future MPs. Um, this is Joanna again, and Louis is joining us today. He's my assistant. Today's topic will be asthma. Yes, that wonderful asthma we love so much. I am going to break the asthma up for you guys so it's easier and you get all your questions correct on the boards in regards to asthma. Okay, so the purpose of this video specifically is to teach you how to do severity, step up, and control, okay? And as all we know, um, there are three different age groups, right? Zero to four, five to 11, and um, 12 to death that we manage asthma, right? And with those three age groups and the three severity, step up, and control things, that's like nine freaking charts. Who has time to memorize nine charts? I don't. So what I did is I combined all the nine charts into one piece of paper and sort of into one chart. And that's what I learned for the boards. I literally learned asthma two days before my exam and it was easy breezy. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, and once you See this chart, you should actually print it before we continue to talk, pause this video, so you can follow along and you know what the heck I'm talking about. This asthma is something you do not want to skip. I'm telling you guys, I've heard people say that they had up to like 10 asthma questions, which is crazy. So don't skip this, okay? Uh, other than this like severity type of questions, there could be like steroid questions and pulmonary function test, um, uh, um, questions, peak flow questions, I should say, things like that. Okay, but let's talk about this. So I'm going to pull up this chart that you should print. Um, and you're, unfortunately, there's like no magic trick to learn asthma, but I'm going to try to make it easier. It will require some time and memorization on your part, okay? So what I did is I created this chart. I combined all age groups and all the nine pieces of paper into one and then I sat down once I had it created I sat down and I kept writing it over and over and over and over and over till it was permanently stuck in my head okay mine didn't look as clean when I wrote it over I literally would do like s n s f i i oops i m m s <clears throat> to 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 80 that kind of thing okay but you'll get there you'll get there if you follow uh, this advice okay let's so let's talk about this what is all all of this mean so the first part top part here, here is sever severity I can't speak english either uh so the only things i really care about is symptoms night symptoms excuse me, night awakenings or night symptoms, uh, SABA, so short acting, rescue inhaler use, right? And the FEV. And then we have the severity, that could be intermittent, mild, moderate, severe. Moderate is the most um, common one, right? Everything in black here is basically for the majority of the people, the red is the exceptions. So when you look at night awakenings, for less than two or equal to two times a month, this means two times a month, that is applied from the age of five to death because you see the exception right here, zero to four. Again, for the mild, the three to four, this three to four times a month can be applied to ages um, 12 and above, and the exception right here is zero to four. So when I was studying this, I first memorized black parts and then I added on afterwards um, the exceptions okay what is this next chart this step up so this is your step up this is this lines up beautifully with the severity okay so I combine ages from 5 and 12 together so basically anybody who is above 5 to the time they die they're going to be in this section. This is going to be their, the medication they should be on. Anybody who is brand spanking new to four years old will be uh, in this section. And the only difference here is that we don't give our babies or anyone under four uh, llama. Okay, so just remember, step one with the intermittent goes Saba. So Saba, short-acting rescue, all of our asthmatic patients have to 
have some kind of rescue inhaler all times. Whether they're having symptoms or not, they have to have it just in case. Step two, that goes with the mild. They should be on a low steroid, right? Oh, also another thing, right? I'm sure all of you, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, not all of you, but I'm sure I'm not the only one who had trouble remembering which medication is what, which one's the inhaler, which is this, which is whatever, which is Laba, Lama, whatever. So here I put, this is how I remember it, by the endings. So I knew Saba is a buterol, like albuterol. Automatically I would know because the test gives you the generic name as well. Um, so you could figure that out. And then I knew that IDE or SONE are steroids. And I knew my LABAs are M-E-T-E-R-O-Ls. And then my LAMAs are P-I-U-Ms, okay? So back to what I was saying. So step one, intermittent saba step two low steroid right because asthma is an inflammation problem so we got to decrease the inflammation by giving them a steroid right step three uh moderate so either you can increase their steroid to a medium or you can add a lava so when there's a plus that means you know they're going to when they're moderate they're going to be on one two three of these medications or one two depending if it's medium low or it's a lava okay you just continue adding more on as severe as more severe they are you notice that there's no steps five or six because at that point they should be managed uh, they be, uh, by somebody else right this is all we care about for the exam okay so and then severe uh, you either put them on a medium ICS and a lab or the, you can add something like a llama, okay? P -U -P -I -U -M. These are some alternatives in case you care. The exam is not trying to trick you, you guys. It's, it's like really first line for almost everything. So it's pretty obvious. But remembering all these could be a little confusing so you just have to sit there and keep writing it over and over and over i2 to 280 mild to w3 to 4 to w80 um you know over and over and over and over till you don't want to write it anymore okay same thing um zero to four remember saba ICS, ICS, LABA. SABA, low ICS, MIC, medium ICS, LABA. Okay? And there's alternative. There's some space for notes for you. And now the control section. Um, okay, so the control section. Again, if it's blank, I only write down the most comments. And if it's blank, it's basically the same. And I only write exceptions because I don't want to memorize all that. Okay? So memorize all this. Write it down. This is very similar to up there. Uh, but these differ, differ a little bit. And then remember the exceptions. Because your exam will ask you these type of questions that pertain both to adults and, um, and children. From 0 to 4, 5 to 11 and 12 and above, okay? So it's important to know. So when they ask you all controlled questions, or controlled questions, and they fall into these categories, um, they're well controlled, and when a patient is well controlled, you do nothing. You don't change their medications, you just keep them at the same step, okay? So if they are already in a SABA and an ICS, and they, they tell you, you know, they do the, fill out the sheet or they tell you this, do nothing. Tell them to come back one to six months, they're good. If they continue to coming back to you and they're, they're well controlled, you might consider decreasing their medication, taking something away, or maybe going from medium to a low or whatever. If they're not well controlled, if they have these symptoms here, you are going to symptoms or results, you are going to step them up. You're gonna go up one step, and you're gonna tell them to come back in two to four weeks. So if they're already in a low, you might up, you might add a LABA or you might add a medium ICS, right? Or change the low to a medium, okay? And if they're doing really crappy and the poor control, this is where you might consider steroids, PO steroids, a short term, maybe, you know, some prednisone. Um, and 
you want to step these patients up one or two steps. So you might add on a couple of things, okay? Does that make sense? But it's always going to go this way. So you just have to memorize this, okay? It's all about memorizing. If you memorize, you can apply. Um, and then these patients obviously are sick, so you want to make sure they come back and see you quite um, fast, one to two weeks. Okay, let's apply this. What the hell am I talking about here? Let's apply this to some examples. Um, no matter how long the question is, let's say the question is like paragraph long on the exam, who cares? Just get out of it what you need to get out of, okay? Don't get overwhelmed with a bunch of BS information, okay? So let's say the bottom line of the question is that the FEV is 65. This adult patient comes into you and their FEV is 65, and the question wants to know what is the stage of asthma? What is the severity of their asthma? So we're going to go back to, and I'm going to ask you other questions that are on that sheet too. So F E V 65, what is the severity? So we're going to look at the chart that we have memorized and we put on that cheat sheet. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. You're gonna write this all out on that board before you start your exam so you don't screw up, okay? So we know, bam, they're in moderate. A patient who's in moderate should be in on the short acting inhaler, rescue inhaler, I'll be, for example, like a, some kind of butyrol, right? They should be on kind of steroid, right? Because we want to decrease inflammation. And then they should be either on a medium steroid versus that one, or we add a lava, okay? That's the medication they would be on. Let's say it's the same, uh, same kind of scenario, but they want to know if they're controlled or not. Uh, we remember this, and we have this in our cheat sheet, and they're at 65, they're not well controlled, we're gonna step them up, one step up. One step up, okay? So, um, <coughs> so, um, so they're gonna be on a SABA, obviously, because all of our asthmatics have to be on a SABA, they might be on a low ICS, or a medium ICS, or a LABA, and uh, um, low, low or medium, and if we're stepping up, we might add, you know, whatever on here. Depends where they are, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, let's do a next question. So the next question will say, I hope I'm making sense. I don't have an option of stopping my video, so if I screw up, I have to start all over. Um, my advanced system I have here. Okay, so limited activity. Walking, waking, can't read either, waking several nights in a row. So this patient is an adult and they're limited activity and they're waking up several nights in a row. Who cares what the activity is? I don't have that on my chart. It didn't really matter on the exam. Uh, but the key word is waking up several times in a row. Okay, we're gonna answer these questions. So let's go back to our chart. Okay, so waking several times in a night. And we want to know the severity. What is the stage over asthma? So we go on to the, my little N. No. No, three two times a month, one more than one times a week, but this is saying several times in a row. So this is more like, no, it's this. Severe is all day long, all night long, in a row, Saba use all day, multiple times a day, and their FEV is low, okay? That's what, that's the severity they would fall into. So they would be severe. So we, the person who's severe should be on all these steps. SABA, low ICS or medium ICS, LABA, and then preferably um, either medium ICS and LABA or LAMA, okay? First line right here. Again, the exam is not gonna be super tricky. It's gonna be, usually most questions will be, um, the answers will be kind of first line, okay? So that's what you wanna do here. Okay, let's do one more. Oh, 
my assistant needs to go. Okay. These are the questions that you might see more often. Let's say your adult patient uses an inhaler less than two times a week and wakes um, less than one time a month, okay? And we want to know the severity of their asthma. So let's go look at the, this chart that you have written down next to you on your exam because at this point you memorized it, right? And this adult patient uh, says to you they are using their inhaler. And when I say inhaler, that means the rescue to Saba, right? Less what did I say? Less than two times a week. Okay, so this looks good, right? Because this is less to or equal two times a week. And they are having nighttime symptoms less than once a month. So that would be right here. Okay, so they're in their intermittent severity, right? So that means they should definitely be on a SABA, right? Because all of our asthma patients are on a rescue and inhaler but what do you do do you step them up or step them down so if you see if they're controlled again we look through here they're controlled well controlled so you do nothing you do nothing with these patients they are managed well you don't have to do anything you keep them on the same dose you tell them to come back one to six months and if they continue to stay well at whatever stage they're on you might start considering decreasing their medications, okay, if they're, like, more severe previously or whatever, okay? All right, let's do a one more. One more so you guys really get this. I hope this is making sense, you guys. Okay. Ooh, one more. Okay, one more question. Let's say your adult patient, and remember there's going to be kids too, um, comes in, tells you that, he or she, he uses a, his rescue, his albuterol about, or twice a week, and is waking uh, more than three to four times um, a month at night, okay? So this patient uses an inhaler twice a week and is waking at night, is having nighttime symptoms three to four times. So let's look at our chart that we have on our sheet written down next to us while we take the exam so we don't freak out. And um, so tw twice, right? Inhaler, twice. So this is less than twice or equal to, or we could actually consider this one as well, right? So it'd be this or this, so we're like, okay. But there's another part of this question, which is talks about the awakenings. So we go under our little N and we look at, well, no, it talks about three to four times. So bam, right there, the patient is in mild. The stage, the severity is mild, okay? So that patient would be on a Saba, and they would be on a low ICS, okay? So if a question um, says something opposite, like this patient is mild um, severity or stage of asthma and they're only in a SABA, what should you add? Low ICS, because you're gonna remember these steps, because you're gonna have this chart in your head forever now, okay? Um, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I kind of went really quickly through this um, just so you guys can start studying. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, the file is posted on my Facebook and I'll post it on my YouTube under my, my a link as well. Um, happy studying. You guys got this. I promise you. Um, just keep writing it over and over and over. Shorter version with exceptions and you will get this. If I got it, you will get it. All right. Happy studying.